from the day before thinking, I love my job and this is the best thing in the world and I'm so happy and my life is awesome, to just a, you know, a you know, few hours later, I'm suddenly thinking, you know what, I'm not sure if I'll be able to stay at this job, you know, because clearly an event happened. He had a conversation with someone at my, you know, someone who was there before, and they had the whole, she used to be a boy conversation, which I've, you know, specifically asked people at work not to have with, with new people and people who weren't familiar with that. And, and, you know, that's another issue of respect, like they weren't respecting my wishes and, and um, it's difficult to, to, to try to deal with respect. Um, at work, at a workplace, you know, and and so, you know, I had a conversation with him, and hopefully things will settle down and we can get past it. But, you know, I can see it being a huge issue because um, I, my tolerance for accepting people treating me that way has grown less and less as I've moved forward, and um, and I and like it 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 has the possibility of actually becoming an issue that I have to take my manager and and then you know that's certainly not a situation I want to have where my manager is put in a position to have to deal with this this issue um, and you know I just you know, I can see it just getting horribly ugly um, so I guess maybe the point there is that there was this huge swing from like I love my job and I love my life to suddenly you know, this, I don't know if I'll be able to continue where I am now and I might have to go somewhere else. Um, so, and, you know, that kind of fluctuation was not really something that I went through before. It was pretty steady. It was like this steady, overwhelming thing, um, you know, not transitioning. It was this just constant um, feeling, whereas now it's, I'm all over the place, good, good, good days and bad days, and um, that's, that's kind of interesting to me, and just everything in general, understanding, um, I wish I had some better examples, but they're basic things in life, I think that I had no clue about things that everybody knows, and everybody thinks, and I was not thinking it, and I feel so much more connected to the people around me now, and I, um, you know, I, I understand the things that I see so much better um, from the place that I am now compared to where I was before. I couldn't, there were so many things I couldn't figure out about the people around me and um, I just kind of looked at them with, well, it just is that way and I'm not sure why, but it, I've seen enough evidence that it is like this. Uh, and so, that's kind of surprising. Like, um, I, I, I did decide to transition so that I could have better relationships with the people around me because I realized that I was not sharing myself uh, and I was not being open to those around me so how could anyone know me? I mean, I did realize that that was a stumbling block but there's implications or um, facets of that that I hadn't expected like, you know, that I would gain a better understanding of so many things um, so that that's been surprising. And I mentioned before, I was totally surprised by strangers and, and continue to be. I mean, I, I have had nothing but positive treatment. And that's in Charlotte, North Carolina, which is kind of a conservative banking town. Um, so that's, that's something that I had certainly hoped for but didn't really expect when it's gotten. I'm surprised with the difficulty that people that I've known all my life are having to change um, even after repeated conversations. I'm certainly surprised about that. I was kind of thinking that, you know, that they would be able to pick up on it um, and, you know, show me the respect that I was asking for, but uh, I'm surprised that that's not happened. Um, you know, there's a lot of things that I used to find very interesting that I don't find anymore. Uh, like. I, I used to, um, I think those things that I did find, I, I could probably classify all of them as distractions. You know, I, I spent a lot of time distracting myself before, like things that would pass the time that I didn't have to think about me and I could just, you know, burn the hours away without having, you know, having to do anything necessarily. Like 
video games, like gaming. I, I played World of Warcraft for like, I don't know, a year and a half when it first came out. I don't know how long. It's been, it seemed like it had been forever since I've played it, but um, Dark Age came a lot. Uh, before that, I was playing um, you know, Unreal Tournament and Quake, Quake 2. Um, I was playing Quake 2 a lot for a long time. Just games. Um, Diablo was where I first started. And uh, those, I, I, I even went and bought a game recently just to try to burn time because I, was, I felt like I was in this place where I wasn't moving forward and I, I was waiting on some things to happen and I just wanted the time to pass. And I couldn't even get into it. Um, so, you know, games and like, I used to play Texas Hold'em a lot. I don't even want to play Texas Hold'em, not even a little bit, you know. Um, even my car project, I found that I, I, I have want my car back. And I don't know if it's because it's hard for me to work on it now, but I'm just not as, it's not as central as it used to be. Um, so all those things have changed. And Oh, um, I looked at a, a, a GQ magazine today when I was getting my hair cut, and I, looked, I was looking through it, and I had this realization that, I, you know, that there were some really cool clothes in there, and that I could have been wearing clothes like that. Like, I could have been interested in doing that, and I could have, you know, I could have expressed myself in a different way than I did that maybe I would have enjoyed more. Like, you know, I, I, there's no way that I'd be interested in anything like that now, obviously, but I didn't even have a concept for it, you know? And the other thing I had looking through GQ Magazine was, like, looking at all the models, and, um, you know, I don't typically um, like boys, although I've always been open to the possibility. Um, but, like, looking through the, the, the GQ Magazine, there was, like, all the models were just not, they're very androgynous looking, and I, I was kept saying, well, where are, where are the guys? Where are the were the men and it, and they had a few ads. They had like um, David Beckham and, and um, Matthew McConaughey and some other people. Oh, Ewan McGregor, and they actually were very good looking compared to the models because the models were just so um, I don't know. So they didn't uh, they looked unique, but they didn't really have a male look to, to, to me, and, and that's interesting because I, I used to find androgynous people more attractive, I think, but now it's, I think it's more people who are more one way or other, male or female, so that's kind of changed. Um, but that's, I think that's all I can think of off the top of my head. I, um, I hope that when I watch this video it comes out and um, maybe other people can talk about things they didn't expect about transition or like realizations or things that are different um, in a context of you know not something that you've ever talked about on video because there's lots of people out there that are talking about things but uh, I don't know there's there's all these details that just don't seem to be talked about um, and uh, so I'd like to invite people to make a video response and talk about some of the things about transition you didn't expect, the positive and negative. Um, and um, thank you very much for watching. I think I have like 94 subscribers. And I remember one of the early videos that um, I watched was uh, Project Dan, 100 subscribers dance. And um, I, I still remember that. It just made me smile and laugh. And I, uh, you know, I miss seeing videos from Project Dan, um, but I don't know it's a hundred subscribers. You kind of think, well, that's going to be kind of cool, even though there's people, um, you know, with thousands. There's people that joined a month ago that have a thousand subscribers. It's it's interesting to watch how those work. But um, for all my subscribers, thank you very much for watching, and um, I, send me some requests or ideas because. Um, I would like to do some more videos and um, you know, talk about some other things. So, thanks for watching.